Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to Project Ozone. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. So, last episode we rage quit Batania. I got aggravated with it and quit. And matter of fact, I went back and had looked at some of my old Project Ozone videos and I got aggravated at the same point last time but we did manage to struggle through and get the quest done so we've got that quest to complete and also we've got the mana pool we made that anyways we'll go ahead and complete that quest I don't have room in my inventory for this stuff. I got everything together for the most part, at least as far as what we are going to be working on today. Let's see what we get here. Reward bag, sulfur. Eh. Now let's claim the reward. Let's go ahead and throw our lotus in here. A greater reward doesn't do us a whole lot of good. So there is that done. So we're ready to move on with Batania, but we're not going to do that yet. Matter of fact, we're going to manually submit this one we'll take overgrowth seed um so i was told that the overgrowth seeds would keep these plants from dying i wasn't sure it's been a while since i used it but as you can see there's no flowers matter of fact i've run through these twice and this one is still here so there is that it does work I'm going to use it for something else other than that but I was doing some testing to see and we run a while with that uh, also off camera I have made oh lord I almost died I don't know how that just happened I made a portal So we, last episode, were talking about the division sigil. And I couldn't remember where I got it. And I went, I've killed wither skeleton, or not wither skeleton, withers to the point where it's pretty bad if we go kill one. I um, never got one. I was like, well, dang it. So then I got to thinking, I went back and watched, uh one of my old videos I can't remember which one it was and I remembered or seen that I had a bunch of them I couldn't figure out what was going on well come to find out even though it doesn't show it in here you can get them out of legendary reward bags um, so that's what I did I went down grabbed a handful of legendary reward bags we've got one we're going to try to get to that today if possible um, one of my goals for today matter of fact we've still got one more quest that we need to complete which is the wither quest falling belt and a ring of magnetization we don't need either one of those uh, we are going to be working on this right here we've got us a auto spawner I'm going to be I want to try to get this quest here done. Um, we need to make the etheric sword and the reinforced watering can. Which make the reinforced watering can, you need the soul fragment, which is got from using the etheric sword on yourself. It's not necessarily that hard to do. The etheric sword, we were looking at this when we were needing these unstable ingots. But then I got to seeing, I seen the other 
recipe here, these limerite ingots. Limerite has gotten, gotten from the nether. I was like, well, let's go mess around in the nether and see if we can find some just for the shiggles of it. And it just so happened that we had a spot literally right behind us, uh, our uh, portal in the nether. So I was able to get to that so we can at least complete part of that quest. Which is actually going to take us to the next part of our day today. Actually, I got quite a few. I think it was 15 totals what I got out of that. So we've got that. It's not necessarily a bad sword. Um, but nothing's going to beat what we've already got. So that is part one of the quest. Now the other part of this quest, the re watering can, we need bedrockium. And I've got, this thing has been running down here. Um, we have one piece of octuple compressed cobblestone. If need be, we can use that. Uh, I just added this compacting drawer, we had enough of the sextuple to get us that. So we are at least a bit closer to getting our, it's raining, getting our portal to the deep dark. So while I want to do that, I also want to get our last set of quests unlocked because our last set of quests gets us into uh, Project E and Project E will make the rest of this pack pretty quick to get through and we will be done. First things first, we need, I need to automate these endo flames so I can get the mana going because we don't have a whole lot of mana. Uh, so while we're doing everything else, we'll be able to generate mana and move on about our business. So we need a couple things. We're going to need a gold pressure plate. And we're going to need a redstone torture. Two or three. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And we're also going to need a dropper. Alright, so we're going to set this up, put the pressure plate here, a redstone torch there. Uh, we'll just go ahead and use wood since that's what we've got in our inventory. I don't want that that way, I want it to face down. And I'm probably not going to get what I want. There we go. Now, we need go. Might need to get some more redstone for this. I've set this thing up a billion times. I ought to know how to do this by now. What is it? Osmium. Alright. So now this should... Alright. That's going to be a problem. All right, let's fix this. Put 
that there. We'll put that there. That's what I want. And that should take care of our situation. And while that's working, we'll get us some more coal to put in there. We don't need all of this stuff. Why did you not go back off? Because I need to invert the signal, I do believe. There we go. So now this thing will run and we will gather mana. Shouldn't take long to fill this thing up and we'll be good to go. So now we are going to head to the mining dimension. And we're going to make us a cow farm. I want to see if we can get a bedrockium cow from uh, from one of these. That's the plan and the goal. Um, if I pull up my map here, where's this at? You can see the area where I spawned all these in. The last one I killed. This is what it left when it blew up uh, so yeah they're getting pretty pretty powerful so let us let me get a spot cleared out here alright we are back place this thing down. I just wanted to make a hole to keep these things from getting in and out of is all I wanted to do. And there's my phone. So let's do that. We should have this already set up to power. We've got power. So we want this to not expand exact copy. Let's go ahead and put that in there. We're going to give it a redstone signal so we can shut it on and off. And last but not least, we need to give it some essence. And we've got plenty of that. So, extract. Always active. So now we should, in theory, start spawning some cows in here. And there they go. Gold, angel melon, angel melon, ethanol. Let's whoop, whoop, whoop. slow it down a little bit. Copper, tin. Don't necessarily need any of this stuff. We're going to wind up having tons of food. And a bunch of stuff laying around here. So, I'm going to do this for a little bit. And if I catch anything that is that we need or want, I will bring you guys back. Well, I have officially reached the point where I am tired of killing cows. 
Uh, I've been at this for a couple of hours. I've got some. I've got a mm. steel cow, which we're going to need. I got an oxygen cow, and I got an emerald cow. We're going to be using those for various bits and bobs. So, what we are going to do for now is just go ahead and use this, our octuple compressed. It won't take long to get another one. Um, it's, we have not got that many days in here and we've already gotten one, so... Go ahead and throw that in there. Block of bedrock in. We're going to get slowness. Let's go ahead and put all this stuff up. We need... I got two mob soles off of them. A ton of leather I decided to keep. Um, And that was... I'm, I'm telling you, I spent, well, let's look at this, how many did I kill, fluid cows, I killed almost 1500 fluid cows, I've been at it for a little bit, so let's go ahead, bedrock him ingots, let us get, that and let's get our soul fragment we just lost well the sword is is gone now and as you see we have lost a minus 10 percent max health so we actually lose one of our hearts for doing that so a reinforced watering can we need a bowl could have swore I had some bowls. There is that. And that should complete. Let's get these put up. That should have completed our quest. And it did because we now have that. We've got two quests complete. Ah, extra life. So we're going to get another full heart, a reward bag, and let's see what we got. Legendary. A sponge. And sponge on a stick. Basic reward, spectral blocks. I tell you what, I hate getting those. Alright, so hearts. Watering can. This thing works in a bigger area. Uh, it's a 5x5 five five instead of a 1x1, one one, and it does work a bit faster. And we can also use this one inside of an autonomous activator to make it go a little bit faster. Or not go faster, but to be able to uh, use it while we're not standing there. So, that is done. Let us take a look and see what is next on our list. We've got this open, that unlocked, that. So that is to. We need to do the Suedo inversion. We don't even have the regular inversion. So that is something that we need to do. What am I doing? Let's get cobblestone. 
we need enchantment table we need redstone we need that oh and we need a bunch of dirt trying to hurry up maybe we can get this done tonight and be done with it we are going to need a sacrifice looks good to me let's just go right there Yep, there just went my emerald cow. I don't know if that's going to be big enough. Alter has everything there. We're just needed at midnight. So we are good to go. And I have no idea which one of these is the right cow. Let's find out right quick. Just to be on the safe side. Alright, that's the right one. Now, I am not necessarily worried about um, getting the cursed earth from this. Um, our mob farm is good enough. So now it's just a matter of waiting till midnight. All right, we are back. It is lit up. So there we go. We now got activated sigil. These mobs are faster, stronger, and more of a pain in the butt. And now they're all gone. We'll get that a little later. So that should. Nope, I didn't take care of that. That is. Has it activated? Now, in order to get the Suedo inversion one, that's a lot of work. A lot of work. How are we doing on that? Let's go ahead and complete a few more Batania quests. I'm wondering how it is requires quest to complete elsewhere. And that one requires complete elsewhere. So let's go back to our Batania stuff. We can make we need eight mana pearls, four mana diamonds. And I got some of this stuff already. And I need to sleep. Oh, I forgot to light that thing up. Alright, so. For our quest, we need 8 mana pearls, 4 mana diamonds. That's easy. There's those. I went ahead and got all of these that I had in the system. We need 3 more of those.
There's those. And there is those. And our next part is the runic altar. Which should be... Let's, let's do this. Look this up before I do it. Okay. So there's that. And what did I do with... Aha! There is our runic altar. And I happen to get a spider trophy. So there we go. Runic altar is made. That quest is complete. Let's get that reward. Factory block and redstone block. Put that up, that up, that up. And what else we got? Now we got to start the runes. These runes I'm going to do off camera. Um, it's a lot of crafting. It's a lot of um, just tedious, tedious stuff. Um, water is powder, man of steel, you know, there's several different things. All of it's stuff that we've got or can easily get. Um, the only thing that might be... I don't think there's anything that's really hard for us to do. Uh, all that we can get. All that we can get. Snow may be the... No, we can get snow from the Twilight Forest. So yeah, all that stuff is pretty easy for us to do. I'll just do that off camera instead of spending all that time to do it. So let's see about hydrangeas. How hard are these to make? Two blue, two cyan. Let's see what I've got left in my bag. Cyan, blue. And let's get a little bit of redstone. All right, that one, two, three, wait. What was it? Two and two? Yeah, two and two. And the amount of powder is just some kind of... Yeah. Some of that. So there's two and two and one of those. And... There we go. Where's our bucket? We got to get one more piece of mana powder, and we should be. Oh, I waited too long. All right. Our four hydrangeas. These things we are going to have to set up with overgrowth seeds in order to get them to work. But there is that. Let's claim that reward. Mana steel, we need 32. I've got 10. But basically the way the hydrangeas work, you place a uh, place them next to a water source. Uh, it needs to be it will suck up the water source, so if you can make an infinite water source and put it next to it, it will just keep generating mana. It's not necessarily a bad form of p 
passive generation, but as it shows, it's it's a dying flower. So we'll have to place it down with some overgrowth seeds. I've got to expand this platform. Um, so, but the last bit we are going to do is go ahead and make that would be 29. That should be not enough. We need one more piece. Oh no. Really? I can't believe I just did that. Wait, no. That's way more than enough. We need 22. So we need 32. We should have enough mana for this. And we do. Beautiful. More bags. Let's clean out some inventory space and let's get this video done with. It's going to be longer. Not a longer video, but it's going to be up later than normal. Uh, because I've spent all day trying to get cows. So there's some aluminum wire we really don't need. Uh, oh no, that's the quest that we need to do. A greater reward bag. An iron wand. And a good reward bag. Dirt. So. We. Are about halfway done with. Our Britannia stuff. Um. Basically, it's just going to be a matter of letting this thing sit and run, collect some, uh, collect some mana because we've got to get, uh, we need to get tear steel. Uh, we need at least two pieces. Uh, if we get four, we can do the tear steel seeds and completely just do away with Batania stuff. So, but yeah, that's it. So, didn't quite get what I was hoping to get today, which I was hoping to be able to get uh, a little bit farther into the end quest. Uh, but we'll get there. So, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!